Hello everybody, this is Donna. Welcome to my channel, Restore Glory. Thank you so much for joining me again. So listen, I was confusing myself. This uh, this is not going to be a part two haul to um, the previous haul. This is not going to make any sense. What I'm about to show you is a haul that I got a couple of weeks back and I had them in some bins that were, uh, usually I have uh, the clear bins. These were just two bins that I put in my storage area and completely forgot that I did not do a haul on these items. So this is all um, stuff that you guys have not seen. Um, I don't remember. I think, did I photograph? I don't even think I photographed these. I think I literally stuck them in the bins and had planned on doing a haul and then separating the items that I need to photograph. Do you do that? Oh my God, as a reseller. Whew, slow down, Donna, my goodness. And it's so funny because I have some Fitz and Floyd stuff, which I had planned on getting out for Easter, but apparently, um, yeah, I just completely forgot about those. So that kind of sort of uh, sucks a little bit. But in any event, this is a completely new haul. It's not part two. It's um, some items that I uh, picked up. I guess it must have been a couple of weeks ago. Put them in bins and just kind of sort of forgot about them. So that's kind of a bummer. So, uh, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Um, I think I'm going to start with this uh, uranium stuff first. Um, so um, I got a whole set of, hold on a second, I'm going to show you guys. I just love doing this. It's so cool to do it. Hello. I love, I love doing that. So I got a whole set of uh, uranium glass, right? So I got this little dish. Now, the, the the sad thing about this particular dish is that it definitely is chippy. It is chippy on, is it on the lid? Yep, it's chippy on the lid, which kind of sort of is a bummer, like right there. I hope you guys can see that. And I think, I think it was just the lid. But other than that, it's in great condition other than the, the chip. And, um... Yeah, I'm kind of bummed out about it because just this one piece alone goes for good money. Now, what I'm about to show you, I got like this along with eight sherbet cups. Hold on one second. Eight sherbet cups. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, like this, right? Eight of these. So four of this design and four of this design plus four plates and one large platter. I got all of that for, I think it was $19.99 which is amazing, $19.99 for all of that. I'm not going to pull it all out because it's just too much. But the eight sherbet cups, four plates, one large platter, and this uh, this uh, candy dish that I just showed you for $19.99. I could not believe it. Um, that uh, candy dish alone, um, if it was not chipped up and in good condition, I want to say that I saw it sold uh, for about $30, just that alone. I think the sherbet glasses go, you can do a set of four for about between $15 and $18. So I should do fine with those. Um, the plates the same and that big platter, I may be able to get a little bit more for that big platter. Um, but, but I thought I could not pass them up for all of that. Um, the eight sherbet, uh, cups, that uh, candy dish, four plates, and a large plate. It's not a plate. It's like a large plate um, for $19. So I'm pretty sure I'll do fine with that. All right. So the next item is just a little cute little hula girl. I think I paid 99 cents for her. And uh, I'm not sure if she works. I'm going to set it outside tomorrow. But um, it's like a Hawaiian hula girl. And I thought that was pretty cute. I'll put it in a, a, a gift to someone if they order something, you know, tropical or, or summery. I'll just put that in as an extra special bonus or something. The next item is this beautiful, cute. Again, I was going to think I was going to pull this out for Easter. Um, but but nonetheless, anyway, it's, uh, it's not going to happen now. Well, I can list it, but um, it won't be available in time for, for Easter. Um, but anyway, it's this cute tin and uh, double handled and it is labeled I think it said sh shimmer it's kind of right there I don't know if you guys can see that but it's s-c-h-i-m-m-e-r I think that's shimmer but this cute little tin I love tins 
like a little storage tin. I don't know, maybe about eight or ten dollars for that. I thought that was really super cute. All right, another little inexpensive item I got. I paid $1.99 for this. It is a cute little wooden house. It's like a little storage box, right? That shape. It looks like a little cottage house, hand painted. And it does have somebody's name on it, too. I thought I saw some. Yep, Rita Ann, 1991. But it's beautifully hand painted, right? Isn't that beautiful? A little country cottage. Well, I would love to have that shed. My goodness. All right, so that's that. Um, I'll show you the Fitz and Floyd stuff in a minute. Okay, so this other item I'm going to show you guys. Guys, have you ever seen something like this? I don't know why I was thinking piano, baby, but I don't think it is. I think the, the artwork on it or the painting, it may be a little bit off. And I tried to do a Google lens on this, but nothing came up. But isn't he or she adorable? Look at that. No markings on it at all. It's in great shape. No chips, no cracks or anything. But I just thought this was so cute. <laughs> so if you guys know anything about this, I don't think it's a piano, baby. I'm 100% sure it's not. But if you guys know anything about this, if you've ever seen it, I tried to do a Google Lens. Nothing is coming up. Let me know. Please enlighten me. It's always good to learn. All right, so that's that. Sorry for my head. Um, just turn this for a second. The next two items I'm going to show you. Yeah, I come? Yep, I'm going to show you. Um, I, for, I did look these up. Oh, my goodness. I got a set of two. So it comes with these little spoons in them. Aren't these, like, so cool? I forgot what these were called. If I, I'm going to look them up, and I'll put them up in the description so you guys can know what they are in case you see them. I want to say they were... Mm, I, I may be confusing it with something else, but when I did look these up, I was surprised to, to note that they actually sell for good money. I don't remember. Oh, $2.99 for a set of two. There we go. I didn't take the price tags off of these, so $2.99 for a set of two. So I'm going to, um, I'll put the name of these um, glasses in the description so you guys can be on the lookout for those. This next item is kind of big, but I paid $10.99. I paid up for it. However, at the this thing was originally the department store price of 89. It was marked down to 79, then deep discounted for 29. And I think there ended up being a final price on it for 17.99. I paid 10.99 for it, but I thought it was amazing. Hello, solid brass in great shape, a few scratches, you know, but nothing, you know, crazy. But it has these two uh um I want to say they're steers with antlers, right? It's a, I want to call it a planter, right? But wouldn't that be cool to put some Christmas stuff in it during the Christmas season? That would be so cool. So for $10.99, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm pretty sure this thing being solid, solid brass. It says that it is made in India, I believe. Yep, made in India. So I'm thinking that even though I paid $10.99 for this, and as, again, as you can see how big it is, I can probably sell it for at least $35, $40, bucks, right? I'm thinking. It's just it's beautiful. Just beautiful. All right. So that's that. Sorry for my head. All right. The next item I'm going to show you, I just thought these were so cute because these are right up my alley. I paid $4.99, as you can see, for a set of two four, six, eight. Let me just show you these beautiful plates. They're melamine, but aren't they beautiful? And I believe they are World Market. Let me show you down the back. You guys can see World Market. And I just thought they were beautiful. Perfect for summer, perfect for spring, uh, outdoor patio, summer dining. Totally love those. For a set of, how many should I say? Two, four, six, eight. For a set of eight, I paid $4.99. And they are in great condition. No, no utensil marks, no scrapes, no paint loss or anything. They are all in great, great condition. And I think when I looked at this particular pattern, it looks like some mermaids. Yeah. Um, yeah, they, they do very well. So that was that. 
um show you that in a minute the next item i just thought was uh why the heck not because who knows somebody who has some vintage um uh lawn furniture might want this thing it was only how much did i pay for it i think i paid a dollar 99 for it but anyway it's this wellington wellington brand uh chase renew kit right so it's these beautiful as, as you can see retro colors but here's the vintage uh, Chase Lounge, and so this is the repair, uh, the uh, Renew Kit. And check it out, this Wellington brand. This looks like it's never been opened, so I know that's a very th these are very retro colors: the oranges, the browns, and the the um, the yellows, and the the uh, avocado color. Yeah, so I would not have any idea how to use this but why not you can easily fold this baby up and mail it um but when i looked these up i want to say how much did I, I don't remember how much i paid for them but when i looked up these uh wellington chase renew kits super quick ready in minutes um i think they did really well like i want to say like probably between 18 and 25 dollars if i remember correctly so yeah so i'm definitely gonna list that baby I don't remember much I paid for. All right, so that's that. Um, then let me just show you this next item. I'm kind of bummed out because I cannot untangle it, but it's so super cool. This hand painted um, wind chime, right? With all these beautiful tropical fish, wooden hand painted, just stunningly beautiful. But as you can see, it is a tangled, tangled mess. And I wouldn't even know how to untangle it and and sell it right do you guys have any idea how best to should i wrap it around some um something wide so that it stays untangled wow it's so pretty again it has all of these tropical fish i don't remember if the price tag is still on i don't think it is but they're all hand painted just stunningly beautiful as you can see i think this one is my favorite and this is the top of it that you would they would all dangle from right so i will before i put this up i'm gonna see if i can um sit down and untangle it and then wrap it around something so that um when i take a picture of it um, the buyer will be able to see that it's intact and they won't get it and they have to struggle with untangling it. So if you guys have any suggestions on how I might do that, please enlighten me again. I can always use help. All right, so let me show you these fits and floors. I'm not going to take them out of the box just because maybe I'll take one out. Um, but I'm kind of bummed out because I didn't get these done in time for Easter. But anyway, they are these fits and floors egg, egg scapades. These are called tumbling rabbits. Hope you guys can see that, right? And these things are, in, I paid $7.99 for, I have a set of three, different. they're different, but I paid, did I get something off? I don't think I did. I think I paid $7.99 for these each. So hold on one second, I am gonna take just one out. So, hold on one second. Ah. All right, so. Bear with me, guys. Just a little card that talks about all of the Fitz and Floyd's products. But these are tumbling rabbits. All right, tumbling rabbits. So here's one of them. Wow. I'm so bummed out. Just excellent, excellent condition. <laughs> here's another one. Yep, Fitz and Floyd's. Which way are you tumbling, darling? Which way are you tumbling? Well, he must be upside down. So he's tumbling upside down. Right? And then finally this one. That's the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. So that was just totally my fault. I didn't get these. I don't. I didn't remember that I had these because I certainly would have gotten them listed well before now, um, so that they can sell in time for uh, 
for Easter. Anyway, the next one, I'm definitely not going to take out the box, but it's a lidded box. It's uh, the same Fitz and Floyd eggs escapades. And this one is just called a lidded box. And again, I paid $7.99. Yep, $7.99 for this one. You know, Fitz and Floyd is fairly good quality. So that's that. And then finally, this one is actually my favorite. I totally love this one. This one is called the Jelly Bean Wagon. Um, it says the candy and paper grass is included, but unfortunately the candy and paper grass is not included. Um, I feel like I want to show you guys this one. Hold on one second. This one is my favorite. Hold on. Uh, I was trying not to take it out, but hold on a second. I'm going to take it out. It's Fitz and Floyd, so why not? Hold on one second. Please don't give me a hard way to go. Stand by, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. So here it is. I was making too much noise trying to get that thing out of the box. This is a Fitz and Floyd. Let me show you the bottom. Escapades. And this is called a um, jelly bean wagon. <laughs> Just so cute. I'm <sighs> so mad I didn't get it listed. But anyway, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna still list it, and uh, obviously still list it. But maybe someone will want it for their spring or summer decor. In any case, so I will go ahead and get them get them listed. All those Fitz and Floyds that I did not pull up. All right, so that's that. That's that. That's that. Oh, and then two more items I'm going to show you, and then I will pause because I got to open up this other box. All right, so this next item, I don't remember how much I paid for it. I want to say it was $8.99, but I had to pick it up, A, because it was like a purple lavender color, and I had to pick it up. And I don't know if this light is going to pick this up, but this thing is beautiful. It is this beautiful kind of sort of lavender purple color bowl. I could not find anything on this particular piece at all. I, I don't know if this is a, well, it looks like it's pressed glass. So if you guys can enlighten me, it looks like it's pressed glass. Here's the bottom. Here's the inside. I am not sure if this light, hold on one second. Let me see if I can cut this light out to see. But you guys still won't be able to see how, how pretty it is. But anyway, it is very, very lavender-y. <laughs> there we go. Is it up? Yeah, my light look like it's off. Up. There we go. All right. So I hope you guys can see how lavender lavender that is. It's really super pretty. Whether you call that lavender or purple. I could not find anything on this at all, but I love the pattern. And it's super heavy. But I love it. And I think I paid $8.99 for it. So, and again, that's the bottom. So that's that. All right. The next item I'm going to have to lift up as well. I couldn't tell. I think I paid $6.99 for it. Yep, $6.99. I could not tell if this was true, mid-century modern or vintage, or was it just made to look that way because there's no marks on it at all. I did find something that was kind of sort of close to it, but um, I just couldn't tell. So anyway, let me just show you. It is this beautiful avocado and green, um, I'm going to call it a swag lamp. It is definitely needs to be wired, as you can see. Here's the top to it. Um, yep, there's nothing on it. So I just can't tell. I don't know if this is something that's vintage. Is it is it mid-century modern? Is it Was it just made to look this way? Nonetheless, it still does look it, right? And I totally love it. And I figure for $6.99, why not? It's so pretty, right? And I have sold, <coughs> excuse me, I have sold plenty of swag lamps. Um, don't mind shipping them. I, I have shipped them. Don't mind shipping them at all. This one is not too heavy. I mean, it's heavy, but it's not too heavy, right? So I just thought it was super cool. And I figure for less than $6.99, um, I couldn't go wrong with it. So... I thought that was pretty cool. Let me put that one right here. 
Oops, 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 oops. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, Lordy. All right, there we go. All right, so I think that's it. I am going to put this on pause. I'm going to scoop this stuff up out of the way. Then I have one more box of items I'm going to show you for this haul. And I think I'll be done. But super excited about all of the green glass that I bought. I totally love that. Uh, eight sherbet cups, that candy dish, four plates, and a bigger plate for $19.99. So I thought that was pretty good with that haul. And of course, all the Fitz and Floyd stuff. Again, even though I paid $7.99 a piece, um, I'm pretty sure I'll do fine with those as well. And uh, I think that's it. I think that's it for right now. So stand by. I'm going to uh, put this stuff to the side and then I'll come back and I'll finish up this finish up this haul. One second. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to switch gears. All right, so this next item, I only have a few items, but the next, a few items uh, left. The next item I'm going to show you is this um, Linux mug. It says Linux American by Design. I'm going to show you the bottom. Of course, we all love Linux. You know, Linux can be hit or miss. But the reason why I picked this up, I think I paid less than $2 for this. But I picked it up because it had the presidential seal on it. And um, not the presidential seal. It's not the presidential seal. It just has this. The eagle and the stars. I'll just leave it at that right now. I don't think this is the presidential seal. But um, to me, it looked presidential, right? It has this gold rim here. It's in excellent condition. No chips or any cracks or paint loss. It has this gold on the handle here. And it's Linux. When I tried to do a Google Lens, nothing came up. So if you guys know anything about this, please do enlighten me and let me know. Try to get it out of the light. So let me turn this around a little bit. There we go. So I thought that was super cool. Why not? It was less than $2. So why not? Right? All right. So the next item is another 222 uh, fifth. And this is the XOXO pattern. This beautiful tall mug that has XOXO and lovely flowers. In excellent shape. 222 fifth. So I thought that was beautiful. Excellent shape. No, ship, no chips or cracks. And then I also found these two heart-shaped... I'm going to call them plates. So that's right. Oh, that's right. That was separate. The mug was, hold on one second. The mug was, I oh, don't have the price on it. I don't know. Probably I paid maybe $2.99 for that. But then I paid $5.99 for both of these plates. Same pattern, XXO, uh, 222 fifth. These heart-shaped plates. And I think they do really well, too. I think I looked them up, and I think they do really well. So that's that. Sorry for that noise. Oh, my goodness, guys. That, sorry about that for the noise. All right, the next item, I pay $3.99. And it's this lovely... One second, let me take this off. Lovely amber-colored... Um, I'm going to call it... Um, Amber colored, what am I trying to say? Seashell dish. No marks on it at all that I could tell. Totally wish it was fire and light, but it's not. It's probably just something, it's probably modern, but I can't call it vintage because I don't know. I think I've seen these a bunch, but I just thought it was really cool for $3.99. I can't remember if this was the day when I got any percentage off. That I don't remember. But nonetheless, I just thought it was cool. And, you know, somebody that has a beach or ocean-themed home decor would want to, uh, may want to add this to their collection. So I thought this was super cool. Is that a mark? Oh, I'm going to have to investigate that because it looks like I do see a mark on the bottom. Okay, Lord of mercy. Hmm. I'm going to look that up. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm going to look that one up. All right, the next item I'm going to show you is a, it's called uh, an evergreen decorative garden flower, and it's Christmas Cats, Christmas Cats Garden Burlap Flag. And I paid, 
$2.99. Even though there's two stickers, I only paid $2.99 for it. But anyway, it's this beautiful, cute burlap. It's uh, the Naturals um, uh, Garden Flag from Burlap Boutique. And I think the original price on this was $14.99, new in package. So more than likely, I will probably sell it for about $15. Definitely new in package, so I thought that was super cool with these cute, adorable, you, they're calling them Christmas cats. <laughs> it's for $2.99. Look at the tail. You guys see that? That's so, so adorable. And I think these do really well, too. I'm going to look that one up again. But anyway, Burlap Boutique. And uh, they are Christmas Cat Garden burlap flag hmm. anyway thought that was cool and then finally 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 i have five a set of five of these um disney authentic original disney parks let me just show you the back dinner plates and they're just like mickey mouse parts like his his head his hands his <laughs> little shorts his shoes um, they do have some utensil marks, um, but I think, um, someone told me that if you use a little bit of, um, I want to say barkeeper's friend, like don't make it too gritty, but use it. So make it so like, it's like a paste. And then if you let it sit, it will get rid of the utensil marks. I think I did try that on some, uh, Lennox plates and it worked. So I'm going to, that was a while ago, probably at least two years ago. So if I'm rem remembering correctly, I think you can use a little bit of Barkeeper's Friend and it will get rid of the utensil marks. But anyway, I have a set of five of these. And um, at first when I looked them up, I think I looked up the wrong pattern and I thought that these went for about $80. But um, this particular pattern does not. I have, I have five, but I think they only go for about $25, I think, and maybe even less. But it's Disney, and um, I know that people love Disney. And maybe once I clean them up and get them listed, um, you know, I'm going to probably list them on the high end for about $25. Because I think I paid, I want to say, it wasn't much. I want to say I paid like $5.99 for a set of five. So that shouldn't be too bad, right? Wow, so that is it. Sorry about that noise, guys. I think that is pretty much it. Again, I'm, I'm kind of bummed out because this haul that I just showed you, I literally probably, I put these things in these big um, tins, these big bins, and put them aside and completely forgot about them. I think I had them before I went to my, uh, went away from my job. But, it, but I am bummed out because I didn't have an opportunity to list the Fitz and Floyd's escapades. I didn't get a chance to list those, but... Anyway, I'm going to still list them and hopefully someone will want, to, want them for their spring or summer home decor. So I'm going to definitely go ahead and list it. So that's it, guys. That is my haul. Um, I really think I got some good stuff and uh, I'm going to try my best to spend the next couple of uh, days trying to make sure I get everything listed and um, processed and, and put away and um and then go from there all right guys so again if you see anything that you like please feel free to send me an email i'll put my etsy shop my macari shop and my email address in the description so if you see anything that you like just please let me know and if you guys know anything about that little boy that's in the little bunny rabbit suit please let me know because i don't know what that is it feels kind of like it's made out of bisque it's very um matte the matte uh coating to it it, it feels like bisque so um if you guys know anything about that, please do let me know. And again, if you know how I can untangle that wind chime, if you have any ideas on how to untangle that wind chime, that'll be good too. Always can use any type of help or guidance, you know, particularly when it comes to glass or anything that you guys know uh, about items that, uh, that can enlighten me. All right, guys. So thank you so much for stopping by. Totally, totally appreciate it. I'm actually going to try to put everything away tonight. Um, tomorrow is Easter Sunday, so we're going to probably do uh, church tomorrow. And, um, and then my daughter's home for, uh, for the weekend. So I'm going to cook some, uh, good, good Sunday dinner for us. And, uh, and then we're just gonna, you know, just have a good relaxing day tomorrow. So anyway, guys have a wonderful evening and I will talk to you soon as always smooches.